Hello, hello and welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week we are going to use selection. We are going to select a few elements from this image. Then we are going to jump to another image and I'll show you some tips and tricks on the selection tools that we are going to use. First thing what I want to do is quickly select, let's say, this object here. I'm going to click on the free hand. So if you don't see the free hand, it's under the rectangular selection here. Click and hold and go to free hand selection tool. With this selected, first thing we're going to use the magnetic free hand. Click here once and you can see it's starting to pick up the edges. Not worried about those edges first. And let's go. Oops. Now, first tip. <laughs> if something like this happens, you don't need to cancel everything. Just hit backspace, hit backspace, 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 until you are happy with the selection that you have. Because this is a straight line, let's invoke the line selection so hold shift and you can you see you can move it as a line click where you want to define the line and then continue with the edge now i'm not clicking anything i'm just hovering the mouse over the element and here the same hold shift Click here and release the keystroke and let's go like something like this. You can see here it didn't do a proper selection so we can redefine this. We can use the border so you can see the pixels that are going to be in the image so I think 10% should be okay in any case we can use the foreground tool taking with a smaller brush and just click here and you can see that it's perfect now if you want to further redefine this, we click on the background and click here. You see it deselected that bit. And I want to load this object as a new layer with a mask because I need it to be on a different layer. Hit apply. And there you go. We have this element as a single element with transparency and take the background, make it visible again. You can move this, of course. Let's go to the second image and we have this. Here we are going to do the same, but we are not going to be that careful with the magnetic selection. We are going to use the free hand and I'm going to show you some tips here. So free hand basically is what is going to do is you can do something like this, which in some cases is good but right now it's not what we want so click holding shift click here click here click here 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 now I'm just doing a basic selection here by clicking holding down the shift Something like this. There we go. Now, if I want to redefine this without canceling all the selection, what we can do is click here on subtract, hold down shift, click on the outside and mark it like this. And you see that this selected the area. The same here. Let's do like this, close it, deselect it. And now we can go to redefine 
make a smaller border and hit again new layer with mask of course if you don't want the mask you can just new layer and that will copy the element as a new layer without the mask but I like the flexibility of having the mask in case something like this happens because it's it's trying to define the edge but it's not there yet so undo that go to redefine we can smooth out here make the border smaller don't need the border to be that big and new layer with mask hit apply that will create a new layer with the mask activated and then you can go take the brush make the brush smaller you can see using the brackets and of course if you use white not black just mask what you need to mask here and you can make it like a a cleaner version you can clean it a little bit let's jump to the other image here you can see this is the final result basically let me show you what is the original image so i want to take this background off and it's not that straightforward so we're going straight to refine and we are going to paint inside so we are going to select the foreground and just paint away quickly you don't need to be very careful with this i'll show you why in a second we can go like this and just release and it did a pretty good job now let's paint more and i've seen that sometimes affinity has some very strange errors it's going to create some aura stuff like that choose background let's bring back that bit make the brush smaller the better you clean here the better the result will be so we can change here and see where we have some issues let's go foreground we can go like this try to clean it a little better Something like this and like this you can see here that sometimes you have these artifacts here so you need to take that in consideration when using this tool sometimes can be very frustrating but also very rewarding so go background take this back let's zoom in a little bit and let's take care about this so with the background we go like this try to be as precise as possible and something like this selection new layer from mask hit apply and is looking good now let's bring the background put it behind and i want to show you something cool okay so i have some issues here with her hand what we can do is go back here on the mask take the smudge tool where is that smudge tool here it's under the blur brush tool click on the mud smudge click on the smudge and make it bigger now carefully move the layers a little bit and of course you need to have this mask selected yeah because we are working in the mask right now so what we are doing basically is taking the white part and just push it now we're taking the black part and push it here as well so with this you do like a very very light touch on the colors it's not even noticeable and there we go quick and easy and of course you can take this method and go with more advanced things like here you can see her hair really did a good job of uh, taking out this and of course i need to work more on this image but for the purpose of showing you how the tool is working i think it's enough i hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to use selection tools in affinity photo join me next week for a new tutorial and um, if you really like it hit the like button and subscribe ring the bell to get notified when i upload new videos until next time take care